Anvil's on fixing to be on left. Watch him. God damn it. Through the room here. Of course, a fucking course. Kestrel's on the bomb. She's in that room. Yeah. Oh! Hell yeah, dude. Sucks that you fucking have to play that on your rough. fucking toes like that. What is going on everybody griffin here coming at you with some fixer gameplay and today i wanted to talk about the bot slash player backfill that's coming in two phases we heard about it on this weekend rogue company so let's head over there let's watch the video and let's discuss it hey what's going on everybody welcome to this week in rogue company for this episode i've decided to step in for pretty here i know you miss him. I already miss him, but it's important. Uh, I decided to step in for Pretty Hair to talk about a topic that's important to many of you, and it's one that we feel passionate about from the development side. Mm -hmm. It's AFK and Levers. Let's get after it. Our team has been working on a set of changes to address the AFK and Lever problem. Phase one of our plan will be releasing with our Switchblade update, which releases in July. So what's in phase one? Great question. Let's talk about it. During phase one, Whenever a player deserts a match, which means they've either been AFK for too long or they decided to quit a match prematurely, that player is going to be automatically replaced with a bot. The beauty of the system is that the bot's difficulty scales based on the player that it is replacing. Now, if the deserted player ever reconnects to the match, they're going to take over immediately for the bot. Okay, so let's talk about this for a second. Phase one's coming up. We know that. We knew that it was coming up because of the Switchblade update live stream and the patch notes and all that kind of stuff. That they were going to be using bots to backfill AFK and people that leave, right? AFK players and people that leave the match. Understand that. Get that. Makes sense. My question is, how are they going to scale the bots up to be on your skill level? Like, if you disconnect and you're a good player or a bad player or whatever, it doesn't matter. How are they going to know what your skill level is and how are they going to be able to drop the bot in there and it feel very seamless? To me, that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There must be like a hidden stat or something that we don't know about within the game, kind of like ELO on Paladins, that we really don't know exactly what it is, that it just exists and it is what it is it feels to me like okay the bot system it makes sense for people that go afk it makes sense for people that leave to be able to fill the matches with bots i get that i completely understand that but in my my experiences in the past with games that backfill with bots for people that leave or go afk uh, the bots are very stupid to just put it blatantly, they're just very stupid. They just kind of do whatever they want. They get stuck in walk cycles. They get stuck in shoot cycles. They get stuck in all these different things. The programming isn't very good. The AI is just dog shit. And it's going to be very, very hard to impress me when it comes to these bots. And then whenever you get to a certain level, let's say, for example, that the bots are really good, right? That they've got it figured out all the way across the match, right? If you queue into a bot match as with your account, with your current account, not a new account, but with your current account, are they going to put you against bots in the bot match that are going to have a similar skill level as you? And if so, then what is the point of having people play this game whenever the majority of the time, whenever I play one, one stack, two stack, three stack, Anything other than a full squad, we get at least, and I'd say every other match, at least someone disconnects, someone goes AFK, right? So then we have to figure it out. We have to come together and do the best that we can to try to win the match. What's the point? What, instead, of, instead of fixing the real problem, they're putting another Band-Aid over it. We'll talk about that more in just a second. Let's go watch the second half of this video. 
during phase one, we're going to be actively monitoring all of our socials. So any and all feedback that you all have on this system, we want to hear about it. We want to know how we can get better. During phase two, I am proud to announce that we will be working on a join in progress system. This means that players will be backfilling matches instead of bots. This has been a system that we've talked about internally for a long time and that the community has asked for, and it is finally going to be brought to life. We will have more details about this one in the future, but we just want to say we're excited for it. We hope you're all excited for it, and we can't wait for the system to go live. Thanks for joining us on This Week in Rogue Company. The team is extremely excited for our Switchblade update, and we hope you are as well. As always, we love you. Take it easy. So for phase two, they're going to have it to where players are going to be able to backfill matches instead of bots. Who's asking for this? Scott's like, oh, the community's asking for this. The people that are asking for this are the same people that are solo queuing and ranked in public matches and every game, every other game, kind of like the way that I experience it. They have people that are just completely going AFK. They're just completely leaving the game and they don't care. And I, I get it. I see it on Twitter sometimes. Why can't you backfill the games with people that want to play, right? I understand that. But who the hell wants to join a game in progress to where it's a demolition match? It's a six, you know, the enemy team has six points and you have zero. I get no fun out of that. The point of the game is to try to win. At the end of the day, that's the whole point of the game. So who wants to join that match? And it better be an optional feature. If if I'm jumping onto Rogue Company and there's two or three of us, four of us playing, and we go and hit Q and it drops us into a match that's already been going on, it's going to take a lot of balancing and a lot of programming and a lot of a lot of work in order to make this happen. Because if you drop into a match mid match, are you going to get to pick your rogue? Is it just going to throw you into some random rogue? Are you going to be able to purchase weapons? Are you going to be able to purchase gadgets? Like, there's too many questions. This video doesn't tell us anything other than, yeah, bots are going to start backfilling whenever Switchblade comes out. And then in the future, at some point, we're going to have players be able to backfill. It's like, okay, well, elaborate. Please, elaborate. This is this sums up Rogue Company, High res First Watch Games, to a fucking T. No more information. More questions than information at the end of the day. I don't see how this is going to work. It didn't work in Paladins. I don't see how this is going to work here. You're going to have to have a really, really, really good programmed AI in order to do bot backfills. And you're going to have to really, really know how to balance the game and balance the way that people join in-progress matches in order for this to be successful. Or it's going to be kind of like the TTK and the arms dealer event, it's going to go live for a week and a half, and then they're going to pull the servers down and fix it. That's just all there is to it. At the end of the day, they're trying something new. I can applaud them for trying something new and think a little bit outside of the box, but I don't know how this is going to go for them. The game is too focused on gunplay and the way that you use your abilities, your active and passive abilities, and how you use your gadgets and things like that. For people to just drop into a match. You want to pick a rogue that you're comfortable with on a specific map. And you want to build that rogue out as you play to the way that you want it to be built out. You don't want to drop into a match halfway through it and be like, oh, uh, we're fixing to swap sides and we're down like all the points. It's just going to feel really bad. And a lot of people, a lot of people, I think are going to be very frustrated and upset by this change. At the end of the day, they're not fixing the problem. At the end of the day, they are band-aiding the problem to try to make it feel like, oh, this is for the community. This is for what the community wants. Well, the community that wants this really don't know what they want at the end of the day. Because trust me, this is not going to go the way that you think it's going to go. If the people that are asking for this are in for a very rude awakening, as opposed to fixing the game and, and making the punishments for leaving the game, going AFK, all that good stuff, instead of increasing the punishments for that and finding out another way to balance that out, to make it to where it is very punishing for you to go AFK or leave a match. Instead of doing that, they're just putting in this terrible bot system and then they're going to put in a terrible player backfill system. And I don't like it. They should have increased the deserter penalties. Take reputation away, as someone put in the comments to one of my videos. Do something to punish players to keep them from wanting to leave the matches. 
Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think that this is going to go the way that everybody hopes it's going to go? Or do you think it's going to crash and burn miserably like everything else that Rogue's been able to do in the past two or three months? Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Also, check the description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to find me. Also, in the description, there is a link to the Broguecast Twitter page and the Broguecast Gmail. If there's something that you want to get in contact with us about in order to f uh, focus on the podcast, please be sure to drop it down there. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. But could, a lot of the people that you see complain about the game and they don't want to play it anymore, they play it alone. Yeah. Disrespects again. Damn it. Utility out. Getting out. Dead. Oh, here we go. He, he ran back. I got two right here. They're both one shot. Oh, we're getting shot from behind. There's one right here. I'm not all alive. No, no, no. The one video clip where two of them are doing it. Yeah, doing the same exact thing. There's somebody behind us. on this corner. Over here near the God dick. damn it. Oh no! What the fuck just she happened? She got my gun. In that doorway. They're both right there. There's one in front of me. She's over here on me. She's rushing me. He's one shot. He's on these boxes right here. Yes. You okay? You okay? I can do that leg blocking shit too, bitch. Yeah. Fucking skipping pracky, dude. Yeah, right. Never script pracky. Skipping leg day. Utility out. Yeah. Watching that zip. He came up with that zip earlier. One's over. Yep, right now on the zip line. I knew it. They're both right here. She's one tap right here. Oh, behind us, dude! Get the job done. The fixer's back here. He's on the 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 fountain thing. The the what you call it? The bastard! Forty-five seconds left. I'll win. Cover me. Bombs active. Don't let them disarm it. Eyes on statue. I heard him. Dude, fucking bitch. I got the bomb. Get up. 
I needed that. Utility out. Where are they throwing that shit from? Over there or over here? Oh, I just saw her run across. There's two. They're both right there. Yeah. They ran left. They went right. Wrong, it's her. Oh, she's getting her up. I'm blocking this door here. I hear somebody on the other side. What the fuck? Did I hit you, Griffin? I don't know. Yeah, I did. No, you're He's good. He was, he was right on the other side of this. Let's try to hit him. Yeah, I'm going around I was behind us. Do the same thing. There's two behind us. Behind us. She's half. She just dropped off. They ran up the steps. Like someone's crawling in here, goddamn. Can you pop the glass on the shield? I'm moving towards A. You hold you, the you hit button. the same button again. Oh. I know I can do that by hitting the button. <laughs> they know. Oh, they know. Oh, oh, I'm the zip line. I think I'm waiting on him. Out. Throwing smoke over there, Corey. Good man. Alright, that area is completely blocked off. He's moving into it. Shot me in the smoke, but cool. In the room. Oh, yeah, he's got. Ah, oh, damn it. Wasn't even fixer who downed me in the smoke. It was goddamn Ronan. That's what I always try to do is I'll like, land like I'm going to go over here and then run up this, but you know, by the time you get there, they're all fucking there. Dallas is full on committing to the A push over there. Oh, they're over there. Does he have the bomb? No. Oh, we got it. I hear somebody. Maybe not. I'm gonna open this up. Yeah, I hear him back there now. I wanna watch the zip line. They just all three goddamn pushed in on me. They're resin right here. She wanted to do it. I like when I'm watching them, I got 150 frames. What well, motherfucker's a talker? Even hey, Lee Roth. One landed, like he landed B, yeah. Oh, show. Oh, in the room, the warehouse. The vibe's right here. She's held up. <laughs> Ronan's down, though. Where's Vi? She's on the stage. He was right there. He's resin. 
Yep, getting around right now. We're on the statue. Oh, it's just her. Oh, let me get in her way. The fuck was she that doing? That pistol is so good. I know. I was so oh, for sure, but she's trying to punch you from seven feet away. Yeah, I don't know what that was about, man. One's heavy left over here. There's two on the yeah, tree. Yeah, your in there. All right, Ronan just rolled down. She, I think she's going to A. She's got the bomb. I see her. Two's going over here. Oh, three. There's... Stop them. See that? I'm sorry, man. That vise down there too. I watched her creep across. I got out of combat for a second. It's just fucking one tap, dude. I was having a reload, damn. dude. I'm sorry. I love how I almost had the Ronin dead, and that bitch runs up and takes the fucking bullet for her. Right, he broke like a off. Hey. Yeah. Pushing up to the door. Right in front of me. Yeah. Bomb has Ah, she's right here. Yeah, you got her. Fuck yeah. Our dude leave. Yeah. Oh! She's watching me. She's right. She was right here. She's coming around the back side. Yep, she's coming in now. <laughs> Wait, let's just go to B and hold they all it. Yeah, they're B. going B a little lot. I know the score. Yeah, they're pushing up hard. That bitch jumped that goddamn st stack of bricks. Oh my god. She didn't even damage her, dude. No, nothing. And she's doing that fucking crouch shot and shit. I'm just gonna go A. They're gonna fucking hard push B. We'll just try to come in yep. behind them. God damn it. Really? Alright, they're going B again. I'm going to hold up on it, but further back. Bot's coming through the warehouse, so is Anvil. Anvil's on, fixing to be on left. Watch him. God damn it. Through the room here. Force a fucking course. There. Yeah. Kestrel's on the bomb. She's in that room. Yeah.
Oh! Hell yeah, dude. Sucks that you fucking have to play that on your rough. fucking toes like that. Mm. We're going to A. I'm hanging back. Yeah, here they come in mid. And they're on the thing. Runs one tat right in there. I'm watching. Get my armor. They're doing the thing where they're gonna watch the bomb. Wait, hold on. No, I, I, I'm gonna go. Oh no! Somebody's over here. Holy shit, how the fuck did we just fucking do that? I don't know, but I'm teabagging. That was a fucking great game, fellas. Like, no bullshit, that was a great fucking game. When you got to that last round, I was like, oh, it's seven. I was like, we might be able to do this. Yeah, we have a shot, right? <laughs>